Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode Sharks vs. Pods. So, Sharks vs. Pods is about when the shark group become very impressed with SpongeBob because they see all of his mopping skills at the Krusty Krab. So, <clears throat> the sharks go ahead and recruit SpongeBob to be part of their team. But then SpongeBob noticed the citizens of Bikini Bottom being very intimidated by the sharks. So SpongeBob isn't sure whether he should stick with the group. And honestly, when I went into this episode, I was honestly very excited because I really love the concept of the sharks. And, you know, there's a little more to the plot I didn't really mention that I am going to say more of, but... You know, Sharks vs. Pods sound like an interesting concept, and I have to say, I had an absolute freaking blast with this episode. This episode was the definition of just being, it is, sorry, not was, it is the definition of an awesome episode. Now, yes, I did have problems with the episode as it gets towards the end, and I'm going to get to that later, but I'm going to just say this to you guys. For the most part... I was in love with this episode and that's just because the script is so well written and also the shark group were very likable and then we get to meet the pods something I left on the plot synopsis is that the reason this episode is called Sharks vs. Pods is because there's apparently a little battle between the sharks versus the pods and the pods are like the squids kind of looking like Squidward in this case. But the thing is that that doesn't really happen until like towards the end of the episode. So I honestly, I'm not quite sure why it's called Sharks vs. Pods, but you know, still a cool title. I just really love the journey SpongeBob had with these sharks. And you also have three guest stars in this episode. They got Henry Wrinkler. Yeah, Henry Wrinkler, a guy I really like. They got him to guest star in this episode. He voices, I believe, the leader of the shark group. And then along in there, you have David L. Lander, and you have Michael McKean. Michael McKean guest stars in SpongeBob for the second time. Here's the only difference. He doesn't voice Captain Frosty Mug like in that episode, Licensed to Milkshake, a few years ago. He is a different character this time around. He's one of the sharks. And honestly, Henry Wrinkler, David L. Lander, and Michael McKean, they all made such fantastic guest stars in Sharks vs. Pods. The other thing I have to give this episode two thumbs up for are the music choices. Oh my god, you guys. The music choices are seriously just awesome. Now, I know music isn't normally something I comment with Spongebob. That's just because it would get really repetitive for me to say, Oh yeah, the music is great. Because every music I hear in a Spongebob episode, even if it's in a, even if it's in a bad one, it still sounds great, honestly. But the reason I'm pointing it out in this for this episode review is because just how this episode uses uh, certain choices of music, how it flows with each scene, it sounded so top notch. And I would just be finding myself dancing along because of how the music was used for this episode. Especially when, honestly, you get towards the end, even though I had problems towards the end, I even liked where the music was going for that climax that the episode was heading. There's also plenty of humor as usual with the SpongeBob episodes. The humor is really great. The story is basic and to the point which is what makes it a great episode as well. And honestly for the most part I had a non-stop blast with this episode. I was just absolutely loving it. But I have to say in the last couple of minutes I wasn't really loving this episode. But I will say, look, at the end of the day, the negatives I'm about to give, the positives still completely outweigh the negatives I'm about to mention for this episode. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. But unfortunately, I really did start to have problems with this episode in the last couple of minutes. But one thing I do have to mention was more like a nitpick. Why do the cops in this episode sound like the Vikings from that episode, Dear Vikings? I just thought that was so weird. It was so off-putting. I found that to be very distracting, to be honest. But that's really a nitpick. 
Now, here are my problems with the last couple of minutes. And honestly, the last couple of minutes, it wasn't bad, but it was just okay, honestly. The majority of this episode was great, great, awesome, 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 awesome. Then it gets to the last couple of minutes and I don't like to say it, but it does get disappointing. It does fall into the okay category. Yeah, this showdown, which by the way, Spongebob assumed it was going to be a fight, but no, it was predictable that it was going to be a dance-off. And yes, yeah, Squidward is actually part of the pods group, which I did find funny, but I kind of expected it at the same time because it was more of his kind. But, you know, there is a little dance show-off with the sharks and the pods, like for a quick 15 seconds in the episode. Yeah, or even less than that, to be honest. So the showdowns, like, I really liked the very, very brief dance showdowns that were shown. The problem is that they were too rushed, they were too short, and it's hard to have fun with them when, honestly, you could tell that at that point, the writers were running out of time. So it's like in the last couple of minutes, they're all like, oh my gosh, we're running out of time. Quick, um, give them that showdown, but make it fast. We can't make the showdown too long. So let's just make it fast. Let's make it fast, let's make it fast. Oh my gosh, we're running out of time. Hurry up you guys. Let's make it more faster, more faster, more faster. And then boom, the episode ends. It just ends. And I mean, if you're gonna have a dance off, at least make it a good, what? I guess one minute? I, w I think a good one minute of the episode's running time would have been nice to see the show done, honestly. But obviously, because they didn't have enough time, the dance showdowns, while cool, were very, very short, and they were honestly rushed. The whole last couple of minutes was honestly very rushed. Once SpongeBob discovers that Gary's not really kidnapped, that he's really the DJ, that's when I started to stop honestly loving this episode. Also, the next problem the last couple of minutes of this episode had was all of the explaining. The only explaining that I bought was that you see these fangirls, they say, the sharks, ah, and they faint. Uh, but, it made it, but it made it look like they were freaking out because the sharks were intimidating. But when you pay attention to that scene, it actually did look like they were fangirling. So when they said, oh, because they're just fans, that made sense, honestly. I bought into that. However, I did not buy into that whole fruit vendor just throwing fruit at the sharks because he's a health watcher. Like, he just wants to watch their health when... And towards the beginning of the episode, it clearly looked like he was scared of uh, them, so I did not buy into that. There were other things explained in the last couple of minutes, and that's the thing. The last couple of minutes wasted so much time explaining things that happened throughout this episode that they only had very minimal time to do the dance showdown and that's where I was honestly very disappointed by this episode because it was moving at a groove pace I was like all right all right like I would say because this episode is like what nearly 11 minutes so let's say I was really loving the first nine minutes the first eight and a half or nine minutes of the episode and then the last couple of minutes that's when you know, the episode honestly got into the more okay level for me. So yeah, you guys, I did have major problems towards the end, to be honest, but I still think Sharks vs. Pods was still an awesome, awesome episode. For the majority, at least, it was such an awesome episode. So Sharks vs. Pods is just one of those episodes you could just have a blast with. It's definitely an episode I consider awesome. And despite the last couple of minutes, which I honestly did find to be disappointing, I am going to give Sharks vs. Pods an 8 out of 10. Loved, loved, loved this episode. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about Sharks vs. Pods. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.